Have you ever gone to open the refrigerator on a really hot day and that cold air just feels so nice on your face? Well, that gives me an idea, and I know you've had this thought too. If I don't have AC but I do have a refrigerator, why don't I just leave the refrigerator open and cool off my whole room? If you've ever asked that question, you also probably had some smart aleck like me come and say, well actually, you can't cool a room with a refrigerator. And the reason they would say that is because a refrigerator just removes the heat from inside the fridge and puts it in the room outside the fridge. So if you leave the door open, you're just cycling around heat in the room, not removing the heat from the room. Well today we're going to try this out once and for all and talk about the refrigeration cycle and then compare a refrigerator to a true air conditioner like the Medea Dual Portable AC Unit. Now to give it the best chance of working, instead of trying to cool off a giant room, I built a smaller insulated room around my refrigerator. Okay, here's my one bedroom apartment. The rent's only $2,000 a month. And it has enough room for a refrigerator inside. Pretty nice. Okay, so I've got two thermocouples hanging here. This one is about the height of my head in the front of the fridge. And then in the back here, I've got another one hanging about the height of my head as well. This top temperature is the temperature in the front of the refrigerator and the bottom one's in the back of the refrigerator. Okay, we're gonna go inside. Okay, this is a test for using an entire refrigerator to cool your room. Even the freezer's in on this. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's dropping. The top one's dropping. That's the front one. They're both dropping. Okay, now after an hour, we're still at 63.9, 63.5, so right around 64 degrees. Now that's pretty amazing. I thought once the compressor kicked on, it would just start heating up, but it's not. Ooh, it's nice and chilly in here. Wow. <laughs> This is nice. This is actually pretty surprising. I thought it would cool down a bit for a short time, but then heat up quickly once the refrigeration cycle turned on. The reason we get some pretty long-term cooling is not from the refrigeration cycle, but it's that the fridge is full of cold food that's absorbing heat from the room. But eventually, the fridge will have to cool that food back down. In fact, now let's see what happens if I close the doors. Okay, we're at 66 degrees now. I just shut the door. Okay, it's been 45 minutes. Okay, we're at 83 degrees, 82.6. Ooh, it is warm in here now. So now the room heats up almost 10 degrees hotter than it was to begin with before we open the refrigerator. So basically, you can cool your room by opening the refrigerator door, but you pay a cost for it later. You end up heating up the room hotter than it was to start with. So these coils in the back of the refrigerator are heating our room as the refrigerator tries to get the inside back down to temperature. But what if you were to keep that hot air coming off of the coils out of the room you're trying to cool? Well, then you've got a proper AC unit like this one. This was sent to me by Medea, the sponsor of this video. This is the Medea Duo Portable AC. This thing is packed with clever engineering that solves all the problems we just talked about, starting with its most important feature, the dual hose design. So now you can see I'm gonna take one thermocouple and stick it in the back here. So one's coming out the back here. So look at the difference now. So the one inside's at 50 degrees and the one outside's at 110 degrees. So you can see it's taking the heat from inside, moving it to the outside. So even though the inside's colder, when you put in work, you can take the heat from the inside and still push it to the outside. Most portable air conditioners use a single hose, which actually creates a pressure imbalance. They pull air from inside the room to cool their internal coils and then exhaust that air outside. But when you remove air from a room and send it out the window, you're creating a negative pressure. That means warm air from outside starts leaking in through every crack and gap in your home, undoing your cooling efforts. The Medea Duo fixes this with its dual hose system. One hose brings in fresh air from the outside to cool the internal condenser, and the second hose exhausts the hot air right back outside. 
This maintains neutral air pressure inside your home, so you don't get that unwanted backflow of hot air. It creates true whole room cooling, no thermal leakage and no hot spots, and it does it up to 50% faster than traditional portable units. Another standout feature is the inverter technology. Unlike traditional AC units that constantly turn on and off with a loud click and a spike in energy use, the Medea Duo uses an inverter-driven compressor. That means it can modulate its speed, delivering just the right amount of cooling at any given time. This not only keeps the temperature more stable, but also reduces energy use significantly, over 40% more efficient than the US federal standard. But what about the noise? Because that's another major difference. Traditional portable ACs can be pretty loud, especially when they're cycling on and off. But the Medea Duo is engineered to run quietly, only 42 decibels at its low setting. That's about as quiet as a library. You can sleep next to it, work next to it, or record a video like this one, and it won't interfere. For example, I can easily catch up on my transport phenomena textbook without being bothered by the sound. And the cooling isn't just quiet, it's also powerful. This unit has a cooling distance of up to 26 feet, which is nearly three times further than most portable ACs. Combined with its 102 degree rotating air outlet, it can send cool air sweeping across an entire room, not just blasting the area directly in front of it. You can really feel it even from the far side of the room, which makes a huge difference in comfort. I also love that you can control it from anywhere thanks to its Wi-Fi and app integration. The Medea Smart Home app lets you set the temperature, change fan speed, or even turn it on remotely so your room is nice and cool when you get home. You can also control it with your voice using Google Assistant or Alexa. I've actually set it up to turn on automatically when I'm on my way back from running errands. That's one of the features that once you use it, you never want to go back. Also, installation is surprisingly easy as well. I did it myself in just a few minutes. The kit comes with everything you need. Just attach the window bracket, pop in the dual hoses, and plug it in. There's no need for permanent installation or special tools. And it's easy to take with you if you want to move it or cool down another room. The Medea Duo has four pivoting wheels that make it easy to roll from one room to another. Despite being powerful, it's very manageable to move. Finally, the Medea Duo comes in several capacity options to suit different room sizes. There's a 12,000 BTU ASHRAE model, which is 10,000 BTU SAC. ASHRAE ratings show a unit's theoretical maximum cooling, while SAC ratings show its real-world cooling performance after accounting for practical losses. There's also a 14,000 BTU ASHRAE model, and even a 14,000 BTU model with heating capability. I'm using the 14,000 BTU cooling-only version here, which is perfect for a larger space like this. So can you cool a room by opening the refrigerator? Well, not really. But with the right technology like the Medea Duo Portable AC, you can cool your room faster, quieter, and more efficiently than ever. So if you want to check out the Medea AC unit, you can click the link in my description. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab, and we'll see you next time.